discipline and we're on to our speed check round. Oh, Remember, okay. everybody gets a speed check round. Yes. So this is our freestyle intermediate, or freestyle juniors intermediate um, speed check round. And so they're gonna, you can have it all in one. You can be the superhero that you want to be and you can experiment the flying effect. Definitely. That is amazing. What superhero would you be, Benji? If I was a superhero, Wow, that's a great question. Ah, I got yeah. you there. I would probably be Iron Man. Iron Man. Yeah, I'm not into the whole having powers. I'm into using my knowledge to create power. Beautiful. That's amazing. Well, you haven't asked me, but I'll share with you which one I would which be. Which superhero would you like to be, Ivana? Oh, thank you for asking. I love that. Okay, so uh, you know who I would be? I would be Jane. Jane. From Tarzan. All right. I don't I'm not know really if she's, a superhero, but definitely a superhero. I don't literary know if she's considered hero. a superhero or not, but she has like superhero powers of like just jumping around trees and mm -hmm. just the wisdom of the wilderness. Yeah, that's and a huge power. That's a huge power yeah. in itself. I think that's a power that we're all missing out on <laughs> yes. that we have, we've lost connection with. So getting back in connection with nature, yes. that would be a great power to have. Yes, and here we have the elements of nature, which is the wind, which is a very important one, you know, and our breath itself and, and just embracing. Uh, Mother Earth, and that we can have it confined in a, in a tube. Yeah, so you know? the, the bringing it indoors and making it as relative as we do, it uh, it really gives us a lot of control over these elements yes. that we wouldn't have otherwise. Yes. And that control allows us to understand them even better and really use them to our advantage. Correct. That I was talking about, you know, I felt like she's off, and then where does she go? You can't really see from where I'm sitting how how high they can go. So, so that is, was nice. This is John Humphreys. He goes by John John. John John. So yeah. I kind of know. I know what this is. John John. John John. There John is one of the most positive human beings I've ever met in my life. Really? How old is John? Thirteen. Thirteen. I know. I mean, these kids are, are the teachers or masters, you know, and teaching us. Oh, that he is we're... phenomenal. Uh, I've only met him twice, and he has really shown me a lot of love light that he has within him his favorite thing to do in the world is to help other people to be happy oh i mean i, I should get a chat with him then Any, yeah. anybody who gets the chance to interact with them is lucky oh uh, well I, when we come to the interviews can i interview john uh, oh I'll god allow we, it, both, I'll allow we both it. we both can i guess yeah we'll probably hound him a little bit for some of that energy he's got all right i love it all right so he is on his helmet, they have numbers. Are these numbers used for the judging, for yep. them to know? So they each have a number. Uh-huh, on their helmet. The order in which they're flying. Oh. And it is, also, um, it is also to help the judges to make sure that they are judging the right person, that everything's right. working out for them. Just in case that you have two people that are named the same. It similar can get names, similar outfits. If you have similar two people outfits. from the same team competing in one of these uh, these categories where they're on a solo mission, right. you don't want to get them confused. No, you don't want to do that. Yeah, that yeah. wouldn't be that wouldn't be fun at all. All right, so he has like a um, is that like a, the suit is uh, very it's like uh, camouflage. camouflage. Yeah. That's what I wanted to say, camouflage. I don't think he's hiding from anybody in that suit <laughs> in this environment. Right. But if he was out in the bush, he might be okay. Yes, I mean I love his outfit, uh, just bringing the element of nature again and blending in with nature which is beautiful really awesome job here from john showing a little bit of his different disciplines that he has under his belt belly back sit fly some of this dynamic carving he's doing we're getting a little bit of everything from john here and the crowd seems Whoa, to be enjoying there. it Whoa, Front flip. flips. all right here's a little superman move Superman! Kind of like, oh, Spider-Man it looks like. There we go. Oh, that's Some nice. wall cartwheels. Cartwheel in the air. That must be so much fun. The crowd here is happy. They were clapping uh, just a second ago. And the music is popping and he's having a great time in his camo outfit, which I love. Yeah. And off he goes. Nice job. Nice job, John. Really good. I don't either. Nice flying. Yep. The range of, of uh, kids competing yep. as well, right? Both, I mean, both the age and, and size. And the size of them, the, the body types, the disciplines. Some of them are more comfortable on their heads, some of them are more comfortable with their belly and back, but they're still putting themselves out there so much. You know what's um, also interesting to see is 
is uh, generally kids this age are, are learning. They're in the learning process in yes. this category. And you will see a lot of what kids from tunnel to tunnel, right? Uh, I mean, you go to, generally, if you go to a smaller tunnel, the, the flying will be more trick oriented. Yes, for right? sure. You know all about that. Yeah. We started in 12 foot tunnels. Born, born and raised in 12 right, foot exactly. tunnels, yeah. And then you see some of these other flyers, like you see Corey in the green helmet, who's learned, I think, from day one in a 14 foot tunnel, yep. really using uh, more of the fluid movements and then connecting tricks where a lot of the 12 foot tunnel flyers are using big tricks with small connections. Small connections, pieces, yes, right? yes, So yes. it's cool to see the different styles coming from different coaches and also just from different tunnels in different regions. And it changes not only in the regions, but in countries as well, which is For cool. sure, and when it used to be the European style versus the American style, right. which was dynamic versus trick flying. Right. And now the combination of those two things has really created the sport that we have. Yeah. Um, how do you feel like the judges are affected by uh, all of the variance in the flying? Man, I do not envy judges. Not I have judged a few times and it is tough. So we got John John going in, I think. John John, Mr. Yeah. Positivity. I can't see him in there. That camo suit is yeah. tough. He jumped in and just disappeared. <laughs> but the red tape on the shoes is giving him away yeah, a little bit. It's really the only way I know what tricks he's doing. I would be confused as if he was head up or head down without that tape. <laughs> I saw this uh, John John playing some Uno yesterday. Looked like a pretty fierce Uno competitor. I don't think I'd step into a game with him. He's a fierce competitor in life. His, <laughs> I, was, uh, I was saying to Ivana, his big thing is making sure that everybody is happy. Yeah. And he can do that by empowering himself. For and he sure. is awesome. Oh, nice front flip. Great trick. He's got these ascending, descending maneuvers, really using the whole tunnel. Using the wall, sliding around. I think it's the fishbowl, right? Yeah, so fish, fishbowl, fish fish Superman. Nice! Yeah! So I actually just met John John for the first time. Him and his mom, super nice. They're great people, for sure. Yeah, excited to see him in here, which is cool. Nice save on that. If there was no indoor He's skydiving. Flying. Working it out, nice. If there was no nice, indoor nice. skydiving, he would have found a way. So, yeah. good is job, from, John. Is he down from? Orlando, by you. No, no. You know where he's from? Ooh, I feel like he started up north. Okay. Uh, maybe Baltimore Tunnels or somewhere around there. Uh, all right, that sounds about right. So we got Jill going in from iFly Westchester, New York. Skydiving, flying in the wind tunnel is a cool... Changes the way you perceive things, and it's, uh, it's something you can do on a daily basis. Uh, to be to skydive on a daily basis, you have to commit to being a skydiver, to being a part of that career. You really give a lot to that. Where this, as a hobby, is still just as empowering, but um, it can be a hobby. It can be something that we do on the side to help the rest of our life instead of having to commit fully to something like skydiving to make ourselves good at it. It's hard to be good at skydiving, right. and it takes a long time and a lot of uh, money and dedication to be good at this. You just have to keep doing it. Like and anything, you keep doing yes. it. You can do it on the side. You can do it and take those lessons you've learned in life and apply them there. Take the lessons you've learned here and apply them in life. Uh, it's very real with our every day to day. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. And um, what's the longest that you could be in the tunnel flying? Is there Technically, a limit? Technically, infinitely. Okay. Um, there's world records over 24 hours and what yeah in the tunnel flying like flying. no sleep no food no water no no peeing no pooping that's that's correct <gasps> wow wow that's an ability of itself right there yeah that is correct uh 24 hours of non-stop flying wow okay that will be a challenge i yeah, so, I, I, I would like to experience that challenge yeah so I, I feel like as we get more and more people involved um we're gonna see more and more of these concepts of how far can we push ourselves in this environment? And from what I can tell, uh, there is no limit. So this is John John back in there. I just want to correct a couple things I said about John earlier. Uh, John Humphreys goes by John John. He's awesome. John is a really positive guy. He's only 11. He's not 13, like I said before. Even more impressive how much wherewithal and how much love he has for the world. Um, he's not from up north at all. He's from Tampa. He's from Tampa. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And his coach is Joel, uh, who is a really cool guy and definitely loves to teach this sport and embodies everything that we are about this sport. 
So seeing John fly and have fun with all these different types of tricks we really haven't seen anybody do, that's a lot coming from somebody who loves to be in the wind tunnel. Yes, and just this outfit, it feels like he loves nature and also he looks like a monkey. Yeah, definitely. You know? And especially when he's running around on yeah. the glass like that, he kind of <laughs> looks like uh, the best monkey I've ever seen. Yeah, like a spider monkey. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. He's really embodying like animal uh, vibes in, into the Great tunnel. Great job, John. Awesome, awesome. I want to talk to John over here. Oh, John! Uh, talk to John, who just was in there flying. Hey, John, I accidentally said you were 13 before because you're so mature and you're so awesome. Uh, but I found out you're 11. You're so impressive, man. Um, how do you feel about that competition so far? Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's definitely a lot of fun. Uh, it's great to meet new people and have a lot of fun here. Yeah. I have a question for you, John. Uh, what was your inspiration for your routine? Um, well, my inspiration for my routine was kind of to show everyone uh, that everyone can fly because I found out one day that there's a night where even special needs can come. So everyone can fly. Everyone has the chance to fly, which means dreams can come true. So everything is possible. Oh my God, That's John. beautiful, man. That is beautiful. You are a light in the world, John. Thank you so much for being here. Do uh, you have any idea who's... Do you have any favorites? I'd say everyone's done their best. I agree, man. It's been awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank Just you. one last question, John, before you leave. What would be some words of advice that you would give uh, to someone that would like to start in this sport? Uh, don't be afraid. Awesome. All, because that's one of the things is you try to, you memorize it out on the ground. You know what you're doing, but then when you get in there, the wind's blowing on you. You get kind of scared and panicked, so just remember, I mean, there's someone there who's going to catch you if you fall or anything, so you're going to be fine. Just relax. Yeah, we're all here for each other, right? Yes. Thank, yeah. thank you, John, for those words of advice. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> See you soon. Be amazing. Oh, oh. Thank you so much, John. Be amazing. Oh, oh, here we go. Hi. Ooh, All right. So, so we just spoke to John. He's 11 and, and he closed off his interview with just be amazing. Yeah. That's, that's just very powerful. That's He's a great 11. message. That's, we all need to hear that message. Yes, be amazing and not You not out there, be fear. amazing. Be amazing. Don't have fear. He's mentioned here. There's a net that will support you. You're not going to fall. You're not going to hurt yourself. So be free. Yeah, be free. Be yourself and be amazing. That's great. I love it. <laughs> so what would be your words of advice for someone out there? I think John took them right out of my mouth. But in reality, I think that the best thing we can do is we can love ourselves and we can share that love with as many people as possible. It makes it so much easier to uh, to. Be the person you need to be on a daily basis. So it all starts with loving yourself. Yes, uh, I believe in um, in Spanish it's called presencia amorosa, which means loving presence. Yeah. So just be the presence of love everywhere you go. Like yeah. You yourself, when you go to a place, you present yourself, and without even saying anything, you're just love itself. You exude that out of your system. 100%. It makes it hard to not be that person when you have such an awesome sport and such an awesome community around that sport. So <laughs> We have some people on the back saying hi. He just ran out of the camera, but apparently he likes cameras. And we're going to take a small break and we'll be right back. The judges can still see you. Are you getting points for creativeness? I th I think so. I think it's always good to use the uh, entire tunnel. What I what I like to do is to use a thumb. If you're if you're watching a movie, 
and you're just sitting still or if you're immersed in it and your body's got to look up and, and actually move around to follow the action, I feel like it, it creates more of the space. So using more space in the tunnel, you're never going to go wrong with. Uh, you know, you don't want to be all the way up where they can't see you, but they're pretty close to the glass. So, you know, they got they got some good range up there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So um, we were talking about difficulty scores and one of the crazy things, so I've been doing this a while, not as long as you, but I've been doing it a while, and it's really awesome to see that the difficulty scores have changed at what's difficult. What used to be a really difficult thing is now almost a basic trick, and these kids are blowing us out of the water with how easy they make some stuff that we worked our whole flying career to get. Yeah, absolutely, huh? Like the, At one point it was the breaker, and then now that became stock, and then it was side flying, and that became stock single double flip twists are now stock you know it's crazy yep. how much it's uh just continues to keep pushing and it, it just it really makes you think that it is endless and we're not going to see the stop growing at all yeah we, for we sure. got john john here you know john i do not he comes in ripping it up though yeah john is a great dude he's out of the tampa tunnel and um he is just a, also a ray of sunshine, such a positive light in the world. He's really, he cares about making people happy, and he thinks the way he's going to do that is through tunnel flying. Right on, John. Yeah. So he's in there throwing these nice big old transitions. Smiling all as big as can be. This dude loves being in the tunnel. A breaker there. There we go. Some fish bowling. Car one of my wheels. favorite moves, the float. I love this move. There was a girl that did it on the last national. That's one of my favorites right there. It's a classic. It's a classic. <laughs> I still throw that into some of my demos. Yeah, I'll do that too. <laughs> Boom. Dropping nice. it down. Nice. It's tough when you have the fulcrum of the wall there to pull yourself into that transition. Really yeah. good stuff. These kids really make it look way easier than it is. For sure. Nice job, John. All right. Ah, we got Jill. Now, let me tell you some words about this girl. Because yeah. she is one of my favorite people I've had the pleasure to work with. She is always smiling. Uh, when she messes up and can't get it, she's smiling. When the coach messes up and I brain lock on something, she is smiling. She is spread, smiling all the time. She is one of the funnest students I've ever had the joy with, to work with. She came to the camp, Thread Camp last year. And again, she's improved a ton. And I think she's flying in New York uh, a lot. Like all she, right. yeah, she, she flies out there all the time and she's done really- uh, That's amazing. Audrey did a great job. Great she job from Audrey there. The exiting, but she did amazing, amazingly. And we have John John here. All right, John John. You can literally feel his energy outside of the tunnel. He is just glowing in there. He is pumped up, looking around for all his support. It's all over the place. We love John. John, John. Yeah, we yes. love John. We want more of him in the tunnels. We want more of him in the camps. We want more of him in the competitions. We just want more having of him in general. Just having him around yeah. makes your life better. Yes, yes. I was I was uh, I just learned about John John that he is the youngest motivational speaker. Yeah, he is he's, he, I mean he's amazing. He has taken on a lot of responsibility to make the world a better place yes. through positivity and love and it's a beautiful thing that took a lot of us most of our lives and some of us don't even really get it the way John does. He really sees the truth in the world and he how important it. it is to be a good person and he promotes that religiously. It is amazing to see this guy in here flying and we're so lucky to have him as a part of this sport. Yes and, and, and all the grown-ups that are, even myself as a grown-up that I'm listening and the uh, grown-ups are listening out there, I do invite them to uh, listen more to their children and children in general because they are our teachers now. You know, now we need to like put our heads down and say, all right, teach me something, kid. They haven't been programmed on how to think, <laughs> so they might see things that we've already been programmed to not notice. They're so much more in touch with the earth and with themselves, so we have to listen to these kids. And right. John John is a great example of not worrying who's listening. He's going to do it anyway, and people will eventually come around and listen to him. And he's already changed a lot of lives. So. And like he said, he's amazing. Look at him go in the tunnel with his freestyle, using the space of the tunnel, uh, using his belly and his back. Beautiful, John John. Keep going. You're amazing. Great job. Some in face carving or some out face belly carving here. Uh, 
Whoa, to the front flips, looking good. Into that fishbowl. I love a wall trick, yeah. Excellent, into those cartwheels. Yo, oh, John's looking confident in his routine. A few practice runs earlier, uh, you know, those few rounds earlier definitely helped him step up his game and really just own this routine. He's looking great in there right now. And again, uh, we saw him also yesterday and just today seeing him again. What, what an improvement he has. You know, you start getting more and more confidence in yourself, in the tunnel, in the wind, in all the things that you guys... I mean, they need to pay attention to so many things. So now they just, you know, go for it. Now they, I think there's more freedom, more freedom than yesterday. Oh yeah, they're yeah. definitely, everybody is a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more comfortable with the competitiveness of everything. And then, uh, well, you got Jill here. She's always comfortable. She's always oh, yes. happy. She could be in last place or first place. She's smiling and loving. These guys are, these little guys are just such a bundle of joy. We want them in here as often as possible, really showing how, how much joy this tunnel can bring and how much they can really be themselves in there. Sure, yes, and that's always important to have that quality. Uh, she's saying hi to everybody. Jill is excited, like uh, Benji just mentioned, her smile shines and brights this place. So guys, keep on commenting. We're gonna be sharing some of your comments here on the live. Let's go, Jill, from, how would you pronounce that, Malachi? Oh, Malachi. Malachi, Malachi says, let's go, Jill. All right, we got Eric, he just tuned in. Eric is the lead in the Orlando Tunnel, and uh, hopefully he's sharing some information with everybody about uh, what we could do to make a competition come our way in Orlando. We'll see if that's a possibility. Yes, and Patricia says, yeah, very good, JJ, you rock. Excellent, this is awesome. So we got, she did that's amazing. the end of our uh, freestyle junior category. That would be it for that, beautiful. Everybody did amazing. Uh, we're gonna be uh, also, uh, when, do you know when we're gonna be sharing results? Uh, not would sure be, about the results. Tomorrow, maybe. Yeah, it's gonna be tomorrow. It takes so. a while for those freestyle judges to really deliberate and come up with a fair score for all of these kids. Right. So people at home, stay tuned because tomorrow it will be our last day of competition where we'll uh, be announcing the winners and just the scores and everything that's going on. So, as Benji said, it takes a while. The judges take this very seriously. They're doing an amazing job checking every move, every detail, just to be very fair. And, uh, you know, to really, uh, yeah, they're just giving, giving, uh, everybody here is giving their best at whatever task they're here to do.